tomorrow. Oh God, there is none like you. What a privilege and an honor to worship you. What a privilege and an honor to give you glory, to give you honor, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, give him all the honor. Give him all the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He's here today to meet your need. He's here today to meet your need. Oh God, let's glorify the name of the Lord. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Let's glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you are going through today, God is in it. God is in it. Hallelujah. 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 Whatever the circumstances will be, God is in it. Hallelujah. Just trust him today. Trust him today. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we give you all the glory and we give you all the honor and we thank you, Jesus, because of who you are and because you live. We can face tomorrow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let your living waters flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take
Hallelujah. Spare, spare. Lord, touch your people today, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are So let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. King of glory. King of glory, fill this place. I just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Yes, the world. Yes, the world. will bow down and say you are. Just one. 
Hallelujah, we're here to glorify the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, you created me for your glory. Lord, you created me for your glory. The song I sing and the joy that they bring is to glorify, glorify your name. I just came to glorify, glorify.
worship you father oh god we worship you god we worship you god we give you all the glory and all the honor oh god we thank you god for your goodness and your mercy and your grace we thank you because of who you are god oh god we bless you today god oh god we thank you for your love we thank you for your love god your love that's a family love that you have for us, God. Oh, God, in spite of God, we love you. In spite of God, you love us. Oh, God, you love us unconditionally, Lord. And we want to bless you today. We want to thank you for the power of love. We thank you for the power of love. Oh, God, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, Dorobo and I. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you God, Thank for your you, love. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed. Bring you. Flowing from grace, then I found in you. Lord, I come to know the weaknesses I from the top. Hallelujah. Lord, I come to you. Let my heart be changed. Renew. Flowing from the grace that I found in you. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus.
By your love, we can rejoice because we know we have a God that brings the victory. So we can rejoice. Hallelujah. 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 Let's all stand in the presence of God as we sing these few choruses unto the Lord for his goodness and for his mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Is it the love of Jesus something 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is the love of Jesus something wonderful, wonderful it is to me. It is the love of Jesus something This is not the love of God. This is not the love of God. Hallelujah. You got to be excited for the love of God. Got to be excited. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has done so much of good things in our lives. So we must have a smile. I mean, we must have a dance. Because God is good. I just get excited of God. I don't know about you all, but I does. Anything you do, anything, I just get excited. When it's the bad thing, I still praise him. Because I know it's something good is about to happen. When the bad thing happens, it's something good about to happen. He's setting up the devil for loss. So you got to praise God, man. Come on now. Oh, yeah. That's my beat. Okay. It is the love of Jesus, something wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is the love of Jesus, something wonderful, wonderful it is. It is the love of Jesus, something wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. It is the love of Jesus, something wonderful.
We bless you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Awesome God. Jesus. All powerful God. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus. The Lord promised to wipe away all tears. Ooh. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody had a reason to cry recently? Oh, Jesus. God says he's going to wipe away all tears. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God, your word. You got troubles. Don't cry. Just remember. God is standing by. Somebody help me this morning. And when, when you are parties, don't cry. Just remember, God is standing by. God.
Hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, oh, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my God. Your word is to be praised. Oh, yes, Lord. That's your promise, Lord, to wipe away all tears. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We give you the praise, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, we take this time to exalt your name. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, thank you. Every little tear drops, you, you cry. Every little heartache inside, you understand every little thing you do. Oh. He cares. He really, really cares for you. Every little tear drop you cry.
really cares for you. Really cares for you. Oh, somebody is that. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We're going to lift the gloom this morning. Oh, God. By the power of our intercession. Whatever struggles they may be, whatever trials, whatever heartaches, God will minister to the deep needs Amen. in every life here today. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God is present to bring healing to every situation, healing to every heart. Oh, my God. Let your Lordship be established in every life, over every circumstance, over every trial. Over all pain, oh God, oh God, over all discouragement and frustration. Let your power, Lord God, be manifest. Be manifest. Even now. In the name of Jesus. I declare enemies will be scattered. Every fiery dart will be quenched. And I declare and decree your righteous cause will be vindicated. By the power of your God who is fighting your battle. I declare that there is no weapon that is formed against you. That is going to prosper. And every tongue that will rise up against you in judgment shall be condemned. Claim your inheritance. Claim your heritage today. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Break every yoke. Open every prison door. Vindicate the cause of your people. Let the enemy stand in awe of your power to deliver. And I believe in Jesus. I believe you, Jesus. Yet seven days, and that situation will be turned around. Come on, lift your hands and give God the glory. Give God the glory. Yet seven days, there will be a reversal of every ungodly decree that has been spoken over your life. Every ungodly plot will be reborn in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Anybody got some praise? Hallelujah. Come on. Give the Lord a praise. Oh. Just do it for me, Lord. Just do it for me. Because only you, Lord, can. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. You do it again. Do it again. Just.
Just take a look at where you are now and where you've been. And hasn't he always come true for you? He's a shame now as then. You may not know how, you may not know when, but he do it again. God know the thing that you go going through and how you are hurting. He understands just how your heart been broken into the God
somebody. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Look at him in the eye. He'll do it again. 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 the joy and the hallelujah of God in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. You're my brother. You're my sister. So take me by the hand. Together we will work until he comes. Ha! Uh -huh. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm just waiting on Pastor Keith to go to the whole congregation. <laughs> Amen. When you put your hands together, give the Lord a round of applause. Thank you, worship group. Amen. Thank you, band. Thank you, Dab Tech. Praise God. Thank you, worshipers. Dancers, praise God. Hallelujah. Now put your hands together and give yourself a big round of applause. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can you put chance again? Give our live stream audience a big round of applause. Praise God. Hallelujah. Turn me your Bibles to the book of Luke, chapter 12. Luke, chapter 12. We're going to read from verse 13 to 21. St. Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 13 to 21. And this is what it says. And one of the company said unto him, Master, speak to my brother, that he divide the inheritance with me. And he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or a divider over you? And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. For a man's life consists not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. And then whose shall those things be? which thou hast provided. So is he that leads up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Hallelujah. I'm sharing on this theme, be rich in the things of God. Tell your neighbor, be rich in the things of God. Let me encourage you to read and meditate upon Luke uh, chapter, Luke chapter 12. For your personal growth and, uh, of course, spiritual enrichment. Because in this one chapter, Luke covers teachings on hypocrisy, anxiety, the Lord's return, faithful and unfaithful servants, Jesus the divider, and, uh, and also interpreting the present time. All those topics he covered in this one chapter 12. Just in a way like Matthew did in Matthew chapter 13, where he covered about 13 parables in that one chapter. Praise God. So uh, I can guarantee you, if you, if you go, when you go home and you take a closer look at Luke chapter 12, you know, there's so much to learn and so much that you will benefit from. That's uh, apart from uh, the verses we just read. Praise God. So from, from the text we read, first thing I want you to remember is this. Take heed. And be aware of covetousness. Those are the direct words of Jesus. Amen. I, you know, when I read that, the reason why I smiled just now, I, I, I realized this is a man who came to Jesus for advice. And you see, when you come to Jesus for advice, 
a lot of times you may not like what he tells you. And he can be brutally frank. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So we have to be very diligent and on our, on your, on our guard uh, uh, against covetousness, which really is a desire to have more. I mean, you got plenty already, but you still want more. Praise God. You're eager for gain. And even if you get that gain by defrauding somebody else, hallelujah. Even if you gotta got to resort to extortion, praise God. Of course, the covetous spirit is a very, very greedy spirit. Amen. Look at your neighbor and tell them, don't be greedy. So, you know, uh, if, if, if we become victim of this thing called covetousness, we, we really spend our lives accumulating more creature comforts, like I mentioned just now, even at the expense of others. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, I want to thank God today. We are all, and you know, we are all free. Hallelujah. From this spirit that haunts the human race. Praise God. Hallelujah. So this man comes to, Je comes to Jesus uh, in the crowd. Uh, there is, of course, a, a crowd. Uh, and you know, it says there, uh, and one of the company, which means there's a large group. And uh, he is seeking uh, a specific request. He said, speak to my brother. And, you know, King James has speak. But really, in the original language, it's command my brother. And so what he's doing, uh, uh, command my brother to divide the inheritance. So he's trying to use his relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. He's trying to use uh, the, the, uh, Jesus' uh, position of influence so that he could get personal gain. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, Jesus will never fall for that. I said Jesus will never fall for that. Praise God. So there are two, uh, uh, there, there are two things uh, that I was trying to think what could, be, what could have been this man's problem. What could have uh, uh, caused him to make such a request. And uh, uh, if you understand, you know, old, uh, well, biblical days, uh, uh, when, when a, a father dies or the person who's the head of the family, and of course they leave the, their, uh, their, their property and everything else uh, uh, to, their, to their children, it looks as though in this case it might have been only two sons. And maybe, you know, let's say the father hasn't died yet, but he's already handed over everything in trust. It is being held by the big brother, praise God, until that time comes and the father finally is deceased. And then the inheritance has to be shared. Praise God. But, uh, but apparently this individual couldn't wait for his, for his father to die. Praise God. You know, have you ever discovered, uh, uh, you know, you, you know you got something coming. You know you got a big blessing coming. But it depends on somebody dying. <laughs> uh, you know, when you're waiting for them to die, they take longer to die. <laughs> or it could have been that the father was already dead. And uh, uh, the big brother gets two, uh, 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 double, double blessing, double, double honor. You know, double what, uh, well, let's say the, uh, it's divided in three shares. Uh, the big brother will get two shares, he will get one. But he's asking Jesus to use uh, his position of influence, where he's got to help, to, you know, to command the big brother to give him half. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, be content with what God has given you. I said, be content with what God has given you. Praise God. How, how selfish and manipulative we can, uh, can we be, brother. praise God. Do you understand? Uh, I believe that God, uh, uh, God wants us, uh, you know, uh, to, to really deal seriously with the spirit of covetousness. So he comes to Jesus, and he asks Jesus, Lord, come on, my brother. And the Lord says, you best be careful with that spirit that you have. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because a man's life consisted not in the abundance of things uh, which he possessed. Brothers and sisters, uh, we need to understand, praise God. Hallelujah. It's not things make you happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God for all the blessings he's given us. Uh, but oh, take those things away and we'll still have the joy of the Lord. Oh, by anybody hearing me this morning, praise God, hallelujah. So the first thing uh, we have to, uh, we have to uh, make note of, take heed uh, and beware of covetousness, praise God. Uh, don't spend your life just accumulating things, hallelujah. It can be very frustrating 
Because there may come a time in your life where you can't enjoy those things. You spend your whole life accumulating. Hallelujah. The second thing I want you to remember is this. Praise God. More is not necessarily better. Tell your neighbor that. More is not necessarily better. A person's existence does not depend on abundance. Praise God. That word abundance means to have an excess. Praise God. means you got plenty, but you got, you got extras. Praise God. Hallelujah. And uh, you have enough and to spare. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know, this word possesses means that which we have. Uh, do you, have you discovered, brothers and sisters, uh, praise God, some people have a lot of satisfaction when they look over what they've accumulated. It gives them a sense, you know, of, uh, uh, of being better. Hallelujah. Praise God. Here, here, more is not necessarily better. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, I remember uh, a while back, uh, just around the last uh, uh, football World Cup, I was uh, uh, looking at some, some, some documentaries. Uh, and two, two really top class footballers, they began to showcase, you know, how many vehicles they have. And how many homes they have. And of course, how many girlfriends they have. Amen. So one footballer had one girlfriend, but he had about 18 vehicles. And if you see these vehicles, I mean, you know, I praise God. Hallelujah. Another one, the other one, you know, the two I was looking at, the other one had about 21 girlfriends and 23 vehicles. And I mean, if you see these girls, they all got Miss Universe, you know, quality, praise God. And I asked myself, I mean, you didn't have all of them at one time. You know, one, at some point in his life, praise God. But I asked myself, how many vehicles these men could drive at one time? Praise God, hallelujah. I mean, even if you got two or three or maybe, let's say, four, praise God, hallelujah. There's no way you could drive 21 vehicles at one time. But they spend their life accumulating more and more and more and more because it gives them a, a sense of being better than somebody else. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, uh, all you got to do is go on Facebook, and that's where people showcase uh, what they have uh, and how much more privileged they are than everybody else. Uh, praise God. I ask myself when I see them, uh, I say, so what? Oh, my God. Listen, let me tell you something, brother. When people start to show off uh, on their property, don't let it bother you. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God has given you enough, uh, praise God, hallelujah, for you to enjoy this life. Hallelujah. So more is not necessarily better. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, we got to understand, uh, you know, the God we serve. Uh, he wants us to have a contented heart. The Bible tells us in the second, I think it's second Timothy or first Timothy. Praise God. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Praise God. Hallelujah. You don't uh, compare yourself with somebody else. Uh, praise God. Who may look as though they're doing well uh, and may look as though they like to show off, you know. Uh, praise God. They do one act of kindness to put on Facebook. Hallelujah. They want the whole world to know they feed two beggars. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody know what I'm talking about. Nobody here don't go on Facebook. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell you something, brothers and sisters. Uh, praise God. Uh, the word of God tells you, watch your left hand. Do it. Don't let your right hand know. Praise God. You're doing your arms. Do it in secret. Uh, praise God. You're blessing somebody. Bless them in secret. Hallelujah. So more is not necessarily better. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, let me say this again, brothers and sisters. Uh, let us not be bothered when people like to show off. Praise God. I thank God, uh, listen, for where he brought me. Listen, look back over your life uh, and see where God has brought you from. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. People are here, people are talking about the good old days. Well, I don't know what was so good about the old days. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about my old days. In my old days, I used to go wear my shoes. I get two holes at the bottom, and I got to put cardboard and, and scotch tape to hold it together. Praise God, because I ain't getting a new pair of shoes until the term end and the next term. Praise God. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, listen, God has brought us a mighty long way. So let's not get upset when somebody else wants to show off on what they got. Uh, praise God. Let me tell you something. Uh, I got enough from God uh, to prove that my God still loves me uh, and he wants me to have a good life. 
Hallelujah. The third thing I want you to remember today, do not indulge your carnal appetite. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Bible tells us here that this man was a rich man. That means he was set already. And then, but you get, to, you get a season in his life uh, when uh, things, uh, you know, gone out of proportion. You get a greater and greater blessing. How, how many have known those times in your life? When everything just flowing your way. Hallelujah. Praise God. And you don't spend one salary check yet and you don't get the other one already. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Praise God. There's a season that we all go through in life when blessings overtake us. Praise God. Huh? That's what the Bible tells us. Uh, the plowman will overtake the reaper. Praise God. Huh? Brothers and sisters, uh, yeah, this man was going through such a period. Uh, and, uh, and the Bible tells us uh, he was a rich man. Uh, and, uh, and this season, his land brought forth plentifully. Praise God. And now you got a problem. He ain't got enough storage uh, for everything he gets in. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so he, uh, he, he decides on the pan action. I'm going to build a bigger barn. Uh, and so I'll be able to store up. Uh, and, uh, and he says, in own words, I am set for many years to come. Oh, my God. Do you understand your times are not in your hands? Anybody here understands that today? Praise God. Hallelujah. The times and seasons are not in your hands. They're in the hands of Almighty God. Uh, praise God. Uh, and so he says, uh, I, got, I got good set for many years. He said, here, take thine ease, enjoy, and bask in luxury. Hallelujah. And here, eat, drink, and be merry. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, this man getting ready to live large. Oh, my God. But you forget the one thing. You forget who in charge. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, you got to know who in charge. Hallelujah. Live as large as you want, but remember who is in charge. Praise God. Hallelujah. L listen, uh, in all his conversation with himself, uh, praise God, you're not talking about, uh, you know, helping somebody else. Uh, praise God, giving somebody a blessing, uh, sharing the good things that God is uh, doing. In life. You may see somebody punishing and suffering, and you say, yeah, I'll try there. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he's singing the song, all is mine. Anybody remember that song? Praise God. All is mine. Not this time. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Anybody came to church Saturday? <laughs> By the time you leave, you're going to be happy. Praise God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, people who live their lives of fleshly pleasure. Praise God. Hallelujah. Every weekend at the club or the creek. Uh, nobody here don't go there. Praise God. Hallelujah. But hear what the Bible tells us. Romans chapter 14, uh, verse number 17. Uh, praise God. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Brothers and sisters, uh, there are some things this man didn't understand. Uh, some things money cannot buy. Praise God. Money can buy peace. Money can buy joy. Money can buy good health. Uh, praise God. If, uh, if health was a thing money could buy, the rich would live and the poor would die. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, and you know, I, I don't think he read Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, which says, uh, but seek ye first. Somebody say first. Put God first. In your moments of abundance, remember who God is. Praise God. Put God for us. Uh, let, God, uh, let God always have center stage in your life. Uh, for the, uh, praise God. Uh, but seek ye first the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto your brothers and sisters. Uh, praise God. There are some things uh, money cannot buy. Hallelujah. So do not indulge yourself in your, in, listen, don't seek to please the flesh. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're a Christian. You are a spiritual being. Praise God. Walk after the spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Understand it is the spirit who must be in control. Oh, praise God. We got to crucify the flesh. 
and it's carnal appetites. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, praise God. This man uh, was getting ready to feed his carnal appetites. Eat, drink, be merry. Praise God. And brothers and sisters, I thank God for his goodness in my life. Praise God. I thank God for his blessing. I thank God uh, I could see past those things. Uh, praise God. All the material things. Uh, let me tell you something. It's good to have material things. Uh, it's good to have comforts, but those things must have no control uh, over your life. Hallelujah. So anytime God calls and gives you assignment, you ain't got nothing holding you back. Oh, Hallelujah. Do not indulge your carnal appetite. This man was getting ready. Praise said here, but I believe this man with a true party after party. Praise God, hallelujah. He may probably singing this other song, it's party time. <laughs> What's that? Well, God, sport is my... Oh my God. Y'all know this song, right? Y'all know this song? Oh my God. Like it's only me, only me alone use a party, hallelujah. <laughs> party time. Sport is my line here. Tessa know it. Pray here. Tessa saying that she know it. Praise God. That's old transport days. Right, right Mark? Old tra <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The fourth thing I want you to remember is this. Focus on what is really important. Praise God. What does God say? That is what counts in our lives. How does God see me? Praise God. Brothers and sisters, I thank God, uh, uh, you know, uh, we may not have as much as somebody else, uh, but we have the approval of God. We have the favor of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, and when we need, uh, uh, when we need, uh, you know, uh, uh, when we need a blessing, thank God uh, he shows up just in time. Praise God. Hallelujah. Focus on what is really important. What is really important uh, is our relationship uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, what, how, how does God see this man? This is a rich man in the eyes of the world. Praise God. This is the man, to, you know, this is the man to follow. This is the man uh, uh, to aspire to become like. Praise God. But in the eyes of God, uh, how does he appear? Hear what God says, uh, praise God, hallelujah. But God said unto him, thou fool, praise God, brothers and sisters, uh, praise God, uh, uh, let me be a fool for Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, another word, fool, means like foam or froth, you know, like foam or froth, you know, you throw another drink uh, and the top of the drink is one set of froth. We call it froth, it's really froth. We say froth, right, guy, and he's, let's change all them words. Praise God. And we know that frothing got no substance. Hallelujah. I mean, when you're trying to drink the drink with the froth on top, all going to happen, the froth and come to the side of your mouth and top of your lip. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you got to keep wiping away because froth has no substance. Praise brothers and sisters. That's how God sees a fool, even a rich fool. No substance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I thank God today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, uh, what does the Bible tell us uh, uh, about the fool? The Bible tells us in Psalm 14, uh, verse 1, and also Psalm 53, verse 1, the fool has said in his heart, uh, there is no God. Brothers and sisters, uh, this man ain't got not even one thought uh, about the Lord God in his life. He didn't even remember to bless God for what God blessing him with. Praise God. He remembered to show some gratitude uh, for what God has allowed him to enjoy. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, uh, and so uh, uh, the Lord says, all right, uh, you planning for a long life. Uh, praise God. You seen down the road uh, and you tell yourself, uh, you're set. Uh, well, I'll tell you something. This night, tell yourself this night, hear me, it is sooner than you think. That's why you can't take God for granted. Praise you. you can't take the things of God for granted. It's sooner than you think. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, time and life is not in our hands. It is in the hand of Almighty God. Praise God. Anybody hearing what I'm telling you today? Praise God. Hallelujah. Keep your mind upon Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord says, thou fool. 
Praise God. This man lacks substance. He lacks things that are really valuable. Praise God. Hallelujah. The word, the word of God tell this night, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, 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 hear, hear me. Praise God. Hallelujah. If God wants to pull the plug, now we can pull the plug on every one of us. We got to remember we are living by God's grace. Praise God, the life we live, praise God, is by the favor of God upon our lives. Praise God, hallelujah. I thank God today, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. And hear, hear the Lord, this night, uh, uh, this night your soul will be required. Then uh, who shall those things be? Do you understand, brothers and sisters, that we can die and leave everything right here? We ain't carrying not, nothing with us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are we fighting, fighting, and fighting? Praise God. Uh, listen, get out of any, any rat race. Get out of the rat race. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because in the end, everything is left right here for somebody else uh, who ain't put in one ounce of sweat to enjoy. Hallelujah. So enjoy your life, praise God, hallelujah. Enjoy your God. Enjoy the blessings of the Lord. The Bible tells us the blessings of the Lord, it make it rich and added no sorrow. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God, brothers and sisters. This man didn't understand some basic things. Praise God. Hallelujah. Then whose, then whose shall those things be? Praise God. When you die, everything done. Rat race over. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Your bank account remain in one of them banks. Praise God. Hallelujah. And if you ain't left a will, people got to fight now to fight the bank. Forget what the money you got in the air. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this man did not understand his life was in the hand of Almighty God. I trust God today, praise God, hallelujah, that every one of us understand that our life is in the hand of Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. The other thing about this, this man showed no gratitude to God. He did not realize that he was accountable to God. Listen, in the end, it's God we can stand before. Praise God, hallelujah. We're not going to stand before no president or no prime minister or no king. Praise God. You got people know this fight, not to line up because they want to stand before some big one and take a photograph and post it on Facebook. Praise God, hallelujah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I'm an important person. You see who I, uh, who I take a selfie with. Praise God. Well, I even know if I take selfies, I, that's, why, uh, that's why I'm going to see no selfie with me. And no big one. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm already in the company of the King of Kings uh, and Lord of Lords. Uh, the biggest one in the universe uh, is my best friend. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. When I call upon him, uh, he's always there. Some of them big ones, they call him and say, sorry. Phone out of range or torn off. Praise God. Hallelujah. You get your secretary say he's not enough for the lion scam things right inside there. But he want to talk to you. Because you know it's some favor you want to ask him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this man did not realize uh, he was accountable to God. Hallelujah. Bro, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, this man didn't, uh, didn't understand. Uh, Praise God, uh, the riches he got uh, is because God uh, favored him. Uh, praise God, this bountiful season he's enjoying uh, is because God was blessing him. Uh, brothers and sisters, uh, do we understand everything we have, uh, we owe to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. That talent or that ability or that gift or that degree you have, you owe it to God. If God didn't open the door, if God didn't give you the ability, if God didn't give you the opportunity, you would never get where you are today. Hallelujah. And we have to understand, brothers and sisters, uh, we owe it all to the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let's not think, well, it's me. I had to study hard. I had to work hard. Yes, you got to do all them things. But in the end, promotion comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Promotion comes from Almighty God. Brothers and sisters, understand and accept the fact. Live like you know everything I have, I owe to God. I'm just a steward 
of God's richest blessing upon my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, listen, uh, use uh, this man. Uh, yeah, he, he was not using his position, uh, praise God, or, uh, or his, uh, his power of influence uh, to help uh, and to build up others. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. You see, when God puts you in a position of power, or when God puts you in a position of influence, you don't use it to destroy lives. You use it to build up lives. Praise God, hallelujah. Because what you're doing, you're leaving a legacy. Praise God, hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, I thank God. Uh, pray, praise God, hallelujah. Uh, you know, uh, I remember, you know, back in the day when I, uh, when I was working and studying, uh, and I'd go into exam rooms, uh, I pray, I said, of course, I got to study hard. Uh, I'm going to exam, and I pray, so the Lord help me. Praise God. There are times when you're in the exam room, uh, and, uh, and what look, and the paper looked like Greek. Praise God, hallelujah. And all of a sudden, praise God, God began to bring back to your memory. Brothers and sisters, uh, everything I achieve and accomplish uh, in life, I achieve and accomplish uh, by the grace of Almighty God. But now when you get to the top, don't get ungrateful. Oh, hallelujah. And say, all is mine. Oh, my God. Let it try there. Hallelujah. Praise God. I had to battle on my own. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, use your position of power and influence to help and build others. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I thank God. He is still God. So if you accept the fact that what you have, you owe it to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you're to God, are you using, are we, let me put, include myself, are we using it to advance his kingdom? Hallelujah. And to make the church a better place. Let me say that again. Praise God. I, I, I get, I get, when, I, when I get frank, I get, I get, I get scared. <laughs> Everything God has given us. It's for us to advance his kingdom. Hallelujah. And to make his church a better place. Praise God. So use your talent. Use your gifting. Use your ability. Use that degree that God allow you to have to make the church a better place. When I stand before God, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to hear that I was a good accountant. I want to hear what I did with my accounting ability to help the kingdom of God. Oh, hallelujah. So if you owe it to God, are we using it to advance his kingdom and to make his church a better place? Praise God. Hallelujah. Do you realize, uh, praise God, just like that, God could take away that ability? Oh, hallelujah. My mind goes back many years ago. There was a sister in the church. Praise God. Hallelujah. We, we, you know, uh, we, we were behind her to, to sing and do specials and join the choir and join the worship group. And she said, no, no, no. I, 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 don't, I don't have time for that. Hallelujah. Praise God. And, uh, and so one time, you know, I, I'm not sure who, who maybe the pastor asked her. And she, she, did, she did a song uh, on a Mother's Day or one of those special days. Um, and I tell you something, this lady had an angelic voice. Praise God. And after that, people kept going after her, saying, listen, man, you got, you know, you got something to can listen, brother. Praise God. The time came when she could not sing any longer. Hallelujah. Because uh, she had to get a surgery for, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the goite, I think it is. Uh, praise God. Uh, and it took her voice. Or she no longer had a singing voice. After years upon years upon years of us trying to get her to come in place where she could help somebody else and pass that talent on. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Pray, brothers and sisters, we got to understand something. Praise God. Hallelujah. I thank God, the ability that God has given us, we could use it to advance the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I believe with all my heart, God has put enough giftings in this house to make this house a better place. If we are willing 
This man ain't got time for nobody. All he's talking about is himself. Praise God. I am here to talk with the family. Me, myself, and I. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I thank God. Uh, l- listen, uh, y- you know, God gave us abilities and God uh, put people in our lives to help us. Do you realize that? There are people that God put around you and me to help us into our divine destiny. We, do, we don't ever make it all by ourselves. Praise God. God put somebody there to help us along. To make a valuable contribution. And to add value to our lives so that we are better persons today. But when we get to the top, we forget all those who help us. Praise brothers and sisters. I want to tell you, just like God expected to put some people in your life to help you. Praise God. God expects you and I to help somebody else. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, uh, and let us thank God we have time and we have that opportunity. So the fourth thing I want you to remember, focus on what is really important. Brothers and sisters, uh, praise God. Hallelujah. You, you know, I had a friend uh, back in my early day, praise God, you know, when, uh, when we were teenagers growing up. This man had a way. He, he would come and he'd tell you things, you know. And uh, then he will tell you, that is below your mental cacaracity. <laughs> so I ask you what you mean. Because they understand what you mean. And you walk away and laugh. He used to get me vexed because this man come and tell me. And he gone laugh and gone. Praise God. Hallelujah. You got any people, anybody like that in your life? Praise God. They tell you things you don't understand what they say. Try it again to explain. Praise God. Hallelujah. And they left you hanging. So I come up with a plan. I start calling it Shakespeare. And every time I call it Shakespeare, he gets vexed. I said, man, you're a man of words, man. You know, praise God. I ain't understand them words you're using for me, but I tell you something. Praise God, hallelujah. You, ju- you remind me of Shakespeare. Brothers and sisters, uh, praise God. You see some people, you know, they want to they prove how, uh, how important they are uh, and how much they know and how intelligent they are. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I don't want people around me who just out to prove a point. Uh, I want people who can help me better my life. Praise God. I trust God today. They got, God has put some people in your life uh, who can help you better your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Pray, listen. Uh, pray, praise God. What? makes me rich in God. Hallelujah. Praise God. First of all, uh, we got to be thankful to him. I said we got to be thankful to him. Praise God. Hallelujah. When we come to church on Sunday morning or whenever we come, praise God, brothers and sisters, uh, we must give God all the praise. I mean, thank God for the worship group. Thank God for the musicians. Thank God for people with beautiful voices. We all don't have beautiful voices. But I tell you something. We can all make a joyful noise unto the Lord our God. Hallelujah. Be thankful to God. Even if you ain't got as much as the next person. Praise God, hallelujah. Bless God for them, hallelujah. Praise God, thank God for them. Uh, celebrate with them, hallelujah. Praise God, brothers and sisters. Uh, be thankful to your God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Second thing I want you to remember, what makes you rich in God. Use your resources to make others happy. And listen, I only talk about money. Praise God. Just looking at somebody and smiling. Hallelujah. Come on, make somebody's day. Look at them and smile. Get them, a, get them your, your nicest smile right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. You don't know what they leave home, what trouble they leave home, what fighting they leave home. Praise God. You don't know how many people are trying to pull them down, how many people are trying to destroy them, discredit their character, and you just give them a smile. Not a frown. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't sit next to them like a serious judge. Praise God. Hallelujah. And say, I'm about to pass sentence on you. Let me tell you, he passing sentence on nobody in this church building. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, listen, use your limited resources if it's limited to make others happy. 
Oh, my God. The third thing I want you to remember, praise God, what makes me rich in God? Look for opportunities to be a blessing to somebody else. I may God can give you plenty of opportunity. Praise God. So that you can be a blessing to others. Hallelujah. Even if you got to make two sugar cake and bring it and give them. Anybody here know how to make sugar cake? There's a particular show cake I used to like. The one that's chip up on. You know the one, right? The chip up on. Praise God. I need to think. Since I left secondary school, I need to think. There's how much years ago. Uh, Fifth or something years ago. I need back the thing. Praise God. Hallelujah. And, uh, and nobody never make it and bring it for me. When you make a show cake, you eat all by yourself. Oh, my God. Huh? You can make porridge. Praise God. Hallelujah. But make parish and bring it and bless the brethren. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What well, you know to make, praise God. You know to make, uh, uh, above the cross, once cross, once time pass. Praise God. Hallelujah. Buns. Amen. Homemade bread. We, are, we had a lady in this church who used to make some lovely homemade bread. Her name was, her name was uh, Marlon Sharpless. Remember the homemade bread that Marlon used to make? Pray, where in Greece? Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Brothers and sisters, what is your special talent and ability? What you do can do well, brothers and sisters. Praise God. Maybe you can't make anything like me. Oh, my God. God has blessed me with a talent. I could boil egg and look, I could buy a leg. <laughs> so if you want some buy a leg, I mean I could make some buy a leg for y'all. <laughs> look for opportunities to be a blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, uh, you don't know. So you, you, I mean, Pastor Kitch used, used to bring bread for plenty of people when, when Smokey was alive. Praise God. Hallelujah. And people used to look forward to that bread. Praise God. They turned big man and you still bringing bread for them. Hallelujah. Let me, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Uh, if he's not there, they miss the bread. Hallelujah. Him is people must miss you for something. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Look for opportunities to be a blessing. And may leave a legacy of generosity. This morning, and nothing but generosity in the vocabulary. Praise God. Hallelujah. He just singing the song. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'm eating. I'm going to drink. I'm going to be merry. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've got good sorrow for many years to come. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. I don't care if Monday fall for the Tuesday. Praise God. I got it made. I got it set. As the young people say, I got it locked. Praise God. Hallelujah. But hear me. Leave a legacy of generosity. There's a woman in the Bible by the name of Dorcas. Praise God. You know, I always wonder, uh, in my younger days when we were playing cricket, we had a club, we used to play against him, Dorcas, Dorcas, some Dorcas club, I think. Praise God. And, and he, you know, I, I began to realize, that when I became a Christian, I realized where they got the name. Praise God. They got the name from the same Dorcas. Praise God. Hallelujah. And Dorcas died. And the women crying. And everybody got... You know, some garment, some nice, nice piece of clothing which darkest made for them. Praise God. And they said, listen, we can't allow this woman to die. Let me, tell you, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Leave a legacy of generosity. And when you die, people can pray you come back to life. They're crying. And what to do? They send for Peter. Been in the next village. They send for Peter. So Peter, come for us. Praise God. When Peter go there, he's in the, everybody crying in their house uh, and wailing and showing off. Listen, this is what darkness made for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is how darkness helped me. This is what darkness did. Right? They said, Peter, you got to do something. You got to bring this woman back to life uh, because I don't know when you're going to dress again. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Leave a legacy of generosity. Praise God, brothers and sisters. When God bless you, He bless you for you alone, consume everything. He bless you so you can bless somebody else. 
Anybody hearing me today? Praise God. Hallelujah. When God bless you with plenty or little, you can use that to be a blessing to somebody else. Don't eat your bread all by yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Be a sharer. Be a giver. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I don't like stingy people. Praise God. I tell you something, you know, back in the day when we used to sub up, you know, we got to sub up, we got to sub up, to see if you get enough money to buy your marby and buns. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Praise God. Those were days, I grew up in them days, praise God. You ain't got enough money, everybody got to sub, and some of them were so smart, they never got. The lock off, the pocket got whole, or the way the wrong pants. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. We got some smart Alec, even in the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, leave a legacy of generosity. Praise God. What? Ask yourself this question. What can I do to make somebody else happy? What can I do to make somebody else, uh, praise God, hallelujah, to, to leave a blessing in their life? Praise God, brothers and sisters. Uh, I thank God that there's a lot we can do, even the small things. I tell you, little things mean a lot. There's another song, right, Tessa? Yeah. yeah, I know. You know all them old leaves, praise God. <laughs> little things mean a lot. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. Sometimes just a handshake. Sometimes just a God bless you. Sometimes just uh, praise God uh, to hear you say, I am praying for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, you know how far it goes uh, when we can extend uh, a helping hand to somebody else. Yeah. Hallelujah. This man I got none of the any. And God said, all right, you're the big man. I can show you who's the big man here today. Praise God. Let me ask some other questions, please. Then I'm going to close. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, uh, I, I want to I ask you, pray. God has given you a talent and, and an ability. What can I do? Praise God. What contribution can I make uh, to make Newton Assembly of God the best church on this planet? Y'all get quiet again. Praise God. I tell you, I'll get frightened when y'all get quiet. Hallelujah. Do you believe, brothers and sisters, that we can liberate the atmosphere in this house? Praise God. Anybody come into this place, they will receive from the hand of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sick can be healed. Demon possessed can go free. Praise God. Hallelujah. Listen, I tell you, yokes will be broken because we are contributing to make the atmosphere so charged with the power and the presence of Almighty God. Anybody who comes in will not go back the same way they came in. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. This is our church, brothers and sisters. I don't care what's going on next door or down the, down the other way. I don't care about what has happened here in my neck of the woods, brothers and sisters. Praise God. I want to know when I come to the house of the Lord, I can lift my hands. I can worship him and not worry about nothing called friendly fire. Oh, Hallelujah. They tell me more soldiers die from friendly fire than any other fire. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, this is our haven of rest. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. What can I do to make my pastor happy? That's a question you all got to answer. Oh, my God. How about joining me in Bible study on Wednesday night? One person laugh, another one laughing. Praise God. Calvin smiling. <laughs> Except you got black hole, praise God. You know how happy it makes me feel when I turn my computer on and see a hundred families waiting for me to teach the word of God. Oh my God, hallelujah. This place is getting really quiet, man. What me there? Here, this is 140 Daniel Street. This is not the Repentier Cemetery. Only place that quiet, really quiet is the cemetery. <laughs> you know, I believe God got a really good sense of humor. People who are the war in life. Pray, they always do another truth. And when they die, the family bury them just next one to the other. They have to fight now. Fight all the other one now. Brothers and sisters. 
Praise God. What can I do to make somebody happy? Hallelujah. What can I do to make my papa join me on Bible study when it's 7 o'clock? Praise God. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday night. Uh, praise God. 70, 30. Hallelujah. The, the, the passcode was uh, 890. 6, uh, 890 6010 2347. Praise God. Hallelujah. The password is number 4. Capital J E S U S. Write it down. Praise God. Remember, I'm going to put it up, brothers and sisters. Uh, and let's gather around the Word of God. Uh, the Word of God is what's going to make us strong. The Word of God is what's going to make us rich in the things of God. Hallelujah. You can't get anywhere without the Word of God. Hallelujah. What can I do? Praise God. How about coming together on prayer meeting night, Friday night? Uh, let us pray that the power of God will be released uh, in this house uh, and brothers and sisters, signs and wonders uh, and diverse miracles uh, and gifts of the Holy Ghost will be in operation. When that happens, we all benefit. We are all winners when that happens. Oh, Hallelujah. But no one person, no one group can do it on their own. Hallelujah. What can I do to make my pastor happy? How about joining the visitation on, sun, on Saturday afternoon? I want to thank God for those soldiers we had here yesterday. Praise God. We weren't many, but we covered the whole of the street. Praise God, hallelujah. And there was so much joy in our hearts as we went out there sharing the flyers uh, and talking to people, brothers and sisters. Uh, I'll tell you something, praise God. Uh, do you understand how important it is for us to go out there and share this gospel? Hallelujah. I think about my own experience. Praise God. 47 years ago. Hallelujah. A young man left a tract and a crusade fly on my desk. At that time, I work again at Souls Hardware. He don't know me. I don't know him. We never talk to one another. But as part of his, uh, you know, he, he was the office assistant of, uh, uh, of the Universal uh, uh, Store, uh, again, so it's Universal. And uh, uh, as he went about his daily, he would he leave uh, tracks and uh, this crusade fly on, on, on people's desks. I was not at my desk at the time, and uh, I had gone upstairs into the stock room. And when I came back down, I saw this tract and this crusade flyer. Praise God. Hallelujah. I did not, I can't remember if I came the same night, but it must have been. I know it was the last Thursday in September 1977. Praise God. I was sitting right up there just opposite where, but Anthony is sitting right now. Praise God. If I was up there, then back then I could have reached across and shake his hand. In the fancy shot he got on there, praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I remember the evangelist's name. His first name, his last name was Hamilton from the United States of America. And then he finished preaching, even before he finished making the altar call, I was already up walking down this aisle. Praise God. How many people could have imagined, praise God, hallelujah, that tractor and that crusade fire, praise God, was responsible for the next pastor of New Zealand Assembly of God getting saved. Oh, hallelujah. So it doesn't take a whole lot of effort to be rich in the things of God. Later on, I, I, I knew who it was that left the tractor and the, and the fly on my desk. And we became very good friends. He used to bring me to prayer meeting. You know, in the early days, he'd collect me. And we come to prayer meeting. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he used to laugh because half in during the prayer meeting, I dropped asleep. But he always prays, he prays, brothers and sisters, uh, I thank God for men like that. Praise God. I, 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 I preached uh, in their church many times, uh, and I let people know this is a man uh, who is responsible for my salvation. When he stands before God, uh, I tell you, he'll be able to point to me and say, God, that one is here because of me. Brothers and sisters, uh, we must be able to point to somebody else uh, and say they are in the kingdom of God uh, because I took the time and made the effort. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Praise God. We should all be concerned 
about the salvation of sinners. I want everybody to get saved. I don't want even, I don't care who they'll send up in hell. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, we have to understand, praise God, hallelujah, God is depending upon us. Listen, uh, listen, don't tell me you ain't got the time. You got the time, man, hallelujah. Praise God. Ha oh, God, God, uh, God, help us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We meet, uh, praise God, let me give, give you an advertisement. It's going to be in the announcement. We meet at 5 o'clock next Saturday. Praise God, we go now. We want to do uh, the silver. If you get, uh, if everybody comes, we can do the silver street. Uh, we can do garnets. Listen, brothers and sisters, uh, we could cover this community. Praise God, uh, let them know there's a church where Jesus can, uh, pray, you can experience the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Got time. You got time. Praise God. Hallelujah. All you got to do is tell yourself. Praise God. I mean, what are you doing do the time? You stay home to look at some movie on your 72-inch flat screen television, which God provides for you in the first place. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Hear me, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you something. God's a serious God. You might put on the TV during the time, and next thing you know, some power surge, and the whole TV blew up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Or don't tell yourself, Ma, you know, whole week I'm working hard. I ain't got time for relax. I'm going to take my family and buy some ice cream and buy some nuts and go up on the seawall and relax. Praise God. Let them, let them go, man. I'm going next time. Brothers and sisters, we are all in this thing together. What can make your pastor happy? Show up when we got outreach for visitation. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Getting quiet. Let me close. Praise God. Brothers and sisters. This man didn't ask any question what he could do to make somebody else's life better. What he can do to contribute to the kingdom of God. He didn't ask him not all he concerned about. What can I do to enjoy myself even more? Oh, hallelujah. What can I contribute to make my church a better place? Oh, hallelujah. We're going to pray. I praise God. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. This is a message for every one of us to examine our own lives, where we stand with God. This man was rich, had much goods, but he was very poor. In the things of God. My encouragement to us today. We may not have as much. But we can be very rich in our God. Oh hallelujah. Oh thank you Jesus. Somebody lift your hands and give God some praise. We can be a thankful people. We can be using our resources to make somebody else happy. Praise God. We can, praise God, uh, uh, look for opportunities to be a blessing. Oh, hallelujah. We can leave a legacy of generosity. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Help us today. Help us today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just called the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody just, oh, my God. Somebody call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, God, how, oh Lord, how we need your help. God, how we need to change our mindset. Oh, God, Lord, we don't want to stuck. We don't want to be stuck, oh, God, in the things of the world. We don't want to be stuck on material things. Uh, Lord God, we want to be completely free this morning. Uh, somebody call the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Oh, somebody believe God for a breakthrough in your life. Uh, praise God. If you need prayer, right, just stand right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, this is, I believe, everyone. Uh, we need, praise God, a divine intervention. Uh, we need God to show up for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need God uh, uh, to turn something around. Uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, we need a change. We need a shift. Uh, praise God. We need a radical shift. Uh, praise God. Stand and let's pray. Uh, and let's believe. Believe, Lord, the Lord our God. Uh, lift your hands and say, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I give you the glory and the praise. I give you the glory and the praise. Oh, God, I stand because I want to help. Uh, I'm standing because I want to contribute. Uh, I'm standing, Lord, because uh, I want to experience the true riches. Uh, oh, God, that comes only from you, Lord. Uh, oh, God, I stand today uh, in the name of Jesus because, Lord, uh, I want some things to be turned around uh, in my life. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I bless you. I worship you, Lord. I glorify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I give you the glory and the praise. I give you the glory and the praise. God, let there be a release right now. God, we don't want to be like this man. Uh, oh, God, uh, 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 that, uh, that Luke wrote about, Lord. Uh, oh, God, we want to leave a legacy today. In the name of Jesus, God, uh, oh, Lord, we want to remember. We want to be remembered, uh, oh, God, for something worthwhile. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, Lord God, uh, we lift our hands and we give you the praise. Uh, oh, God, we are forever grateful. Uh, we are forever grateful. Oh, Jesus. Just undertake. Just come true. Just make a difference. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah, somebody. Lift up your voice. Ah, oh, shout hallelujah. Give the Lord the highest praise. Ah, oh, let God put that joy in your heart, which money can buy. Oh, my God, no material possession can satisfy. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I bless you, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. I exalt your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, we are purposing in our hearts today. That those giftings you have deposited in us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, we're going to use it for the benefit of your kingdom. And oh God, we'll invest time in somebody else. So that when we move off the scene, the body will not lack for that gift. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, I give you the glory and the praise. I give you all the glory and the praise. And I say, have your way. Have your way. Take complete control. 
Oh, by your power, Lord God, just minister to every one of us. Oh, my God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for a turnaround and a change. Oh, have your way. Have your way. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, and I am the clay.
Father, we give you praise, oh God, today for every soul that is standing, my God. And even as the song says, oh God, have thine own way in our lives, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you visit those impossible situations, my God. Visit, oh God, those stubborn things, my God. That right now, Jesus. We know, Lord God, we don't have the strength, we don't have the might to do, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus for your supernatural intervention. In Jesus name. That you will bring us into our victory one more time. We give you praise, oh God, as we open our entire being to you today. And we say you just have your way. Do it only you can do, oh God. As we turn everything over to you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You. you may be seated this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. And all the time. We want to thank our bishop for the ministry of the word. And we as believers know how important God's word is to our lives. Amen. In the difficult times, we could rely on God's word. Oh, yeah. And in the good times, we could praise God through his word. Amen. Amen. So let us continue to stay close to God through his word. Hallelujah. We have, we're going to say goodbye to our Zoom audience. Put your hands together for them. See you this evening at 7. Amen.